Hello, in this video I'd like to show how to build a face frame cabinet using Polyboard version 7's lateral zones. Let's say we would like to put around a cabinet a 40 by 22 millimeter wooden frame as in our example here on the screen. Let's see how we can do that. Here we are in Polyboard 7 with a basic box carcass. As we will be using double back panels for our frames and to automatically set up our frames with the correct materials I have created a specific panel type called double back face frame. To do this I went into tools, preferences and in the section custom panel types and in divisions under double backs I've created a double back type 5 called double back 5 slash face frame. I have also created a specific material sub method that adds automatically the wooden material to the double back 5 face frame. To do this I've opened the material styles and to a standard generic material style I've added this value here which is double back 5 face frame and I've assigned to it the wooden 22mm material. For more details on setting up panel types and material sub methods please refer to our other videos. So with these set up we can start building our face frame. With nothing on our cabinet selected in the properties menu let's open the to external zone section by clicking on the plus sign here. Now my carcass panels are 19mm thick and we want our frame to be a total of 40 millimeters wide. So let's set up external zones of 40 minus 19 or 21 millimeters. To do this I'm just going to click on the different external zones that we have here, the, the upper strip, I'm going to add 21 millimeters, the plinth 21 millimeters, right side 21 millimeters and the left side 21 millimeters. Now if I click around the cabinet we can see that the external zone appears in pink. Let's go over to each external zone and put in a piece of material that's going to become our face frame. To start creating our face frames I'm just going to put the mouse over the external zone. The zone becomes pink if I click it it selects it and then I'm going to put in a double back. Now the double back I can use my quick design buttons here. Double back, add a double back here. I can add a double back. Now the type of double back I want is a double back five face frame. And the position of the double back, I want to put it at a distance from the front and I want to put it at zero from the front. That is flush with the front. And we can see the double back appears on the side of my cabinet. I'm just going to go around my cabinet and doing the same thing on all the different sides. Now the actual material for the face frame has been set up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on each bit of material like this. Already I've just gone underneath here the plinth material. I'm going to just make that bit of material which is a double back overpassing the bottom of my cabinet. So it's overpassing the panel on the underside instead of being underpassing. I'm going to click around here and do the same thing for each part. This part I'm going to make it overpassing the right side. This part I'm going to make it overpassing the top. And this part I'm going to make it overpassing the left side. Now if I look in 3D we can see that our face frame has been constructed. To adjust this face frame, now this face frame is actually, if I look at the material itself, if I click on the material I can see that it is actually 40 millimeters wide. We can adjust the, the face frame, for instance if I need the face frame at the top not to be flush the underside, the cabinet carcass panel but I want it to be flush on the top side. To do this go to the upper strip zone which is 21 millimeters. Let's put it at one millimeter so it'd be one millimeter proud of the top of my cabinet. That's reduced my face frame dimension by 20 millimeters. Let's explode the cabinet to go to click on it easier. Click on that face frame here. If I look at its properties to the top we see, you can see it's got a property of having an overlap now. I can, if I give it an overlap of 20 millimeters it will now be 
20 millimeters underneath the top which is 19 millimeters with another one millimeter proud of the top and if we look at the size it's now gone back to 40 millimeters in width so the face frames are now very easy to adjust in their position relative to our carcass panels and what's interesting about this way we're doing it here is if I put a shelf in here is that the shelf will come in it's now sitting in the cabinet if I put an upright in here and we can put an upright here it's now also sitting in the cabinet uh, note that the top the upright is actually coming flush to the front of the face frame so we would have to set that back from the front a certain distance let's set it back 30 for instance so we have a bit of and now if I look at the 3D we can see that all the assembly details have been maintained so I hope that's been helpful and has shown you how to quickly set up a face frame on the cabinet using lateral zones thank you for looking bye